here with another one. Another one. Oh, uh, y'all, it's something that's been bothering me for a while. When I keep hearing people say, I'm talking about lately, as of yesterday to be exact. Uh, an excuse people use for a lot of things is gas high. Gas high. Man, gas ain't high no more. I'm like, what do you what do you get that from? I mean, even if it is high when it was high, I mean it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh if you think gas high around this way people paying two dollars and thirty cents a gallon for regular ethanol gas though. You know, two dollars and thirty cents. Y'all call it high. <laughs> what I'm paying, three fifty-seven. No matter how it goes up, I still stay on the up and up on getting the right kind of gas. None ethanol, people. None ethanol is one hundred percent gas. You see that at your gas pump? Get it. 100% gas. Your car will run better. Your car will run longer. You won't have to be at the gas station as much. But if you're a cheapo cigarette, <laughs> keep getting that ethanol and put it in your car. I've been using non-ethanol since 2000 and maybe six. Was using it before that. Then Katrina hit or whatever. And I think that's when it happened. Then they started using that mess. But when I found out what it was and started looking into it, I quit using it. So since 2006, I've been using y'all. And let me see, since 2006, I think I had a car in the shop once and the reason that was is because I needed a transmission for uh, uh it was a little it was, this was one of the smallest BMWs we had and it was trash I mean that car was trash that car it has it, it has started picking up so many issues it was just as trash as the Cadillac that we had, you know, that was, wow, that was a ghost car. But this this car, it's a little odd and then started happening to it. Then the transmission went bad. So I found the transmission and it wasn't hard to find because it was a transmission that go in a, what that go in? A Cadillac, yeah. It fits a Cadillac. And I was like, no wonder it went bad. And a lot of people was having the same issue I was having. So I put, I didn't put it in. I got that transmission put in. And let it sit for the right person to come out. And I pounced on them. <laughs> hey, I told them what it was. You know, I, I, I ain't, I ain't going to do you wrong like that. I told them that I got a new transmission put in. You can take the old one with you if you want to. And whatever, whatever. But, um, uh, yeah. Get back on subject. Been using none ethanol since since. You know what I'm saying? And then there was times I would use ethanol gas. I go out of town where there's no none ethanol, but I use an ethanol treatment. If you would say why? Why why would they do this and do that? But look, think about it. Why would they put out a treatment if there wasn't a problem? Yeah. So I put that treatment in there because it, ethanol has a lot of water in it and a lot of corn and whatever else you eat throw in there. You know what I'm saying? It ain't Mr. Fusion off the damn uh, time machine on Back to the Future. But, yeah, guys, I keep hearing that. And stuff that went up, they got to have to trickle some stuff down. They got to. Or people going to, uh, or the business going to start losing. They don't trickle things down. But, uh, it is what it is, y'all. Gas is not that high anymore. 
Um, I think the highs I got, I think it was like, I don't know, five, 15, something like that. I can't remember, but that's the highest it ever got for me. The lowest it's been for me since it started going up. Since after we was getting like a dollar and something on our regular gas around here, it was like a dollar and 90 something since like 2020. When it started rising up from that point, I think the low is where I was going. I think. Y'all, it really, I don't know, don't know, don't know. I just use none of them all gas, y'all. That's just the bottom line. And gas ain't that high, so stop saying it. If gas that high for you, stop driving. Catch a ride. <laughs> you know what? Whatever you catch that ride with, that gas gonna catch your ass because they gonna have to raise their price up to keep up with that high gas that ain't high no more.